I'm a little phlegmy. Hello and welcome to an episode of the Gem City Gridiron Roundup Podcast. As always, I am your host, Macaulay Calkin. Uh, a winner with this me, week, though. Yeah, with me I have Zachary Dijana Junge Stewart. I was hoping you say domination, but uh, not, no domination this week. Before the Junge. Dijana Junge. Um, it's a family no, name. It's a family name. Um, yeah, um, you uh, rolls reverse this week. You get the dub, I get the loss. Um, good for you to get off the schneid. Um, last winless team um, gets a dub this week. So, congratulations to you, Dalton. Uh, you climbed to one in six. Finally, finally, I, I still, um, I still think you're the lowest scoring team in the league. Yeah. <laughs> You scored 750 points. Yeah. You have also, it looks like you've had the, the toughest schedule too. You've given a thousand, a thousand twenty five. No one else has scored a thousand points. No one's, no one scored even 900 points. Oh, I know. Uh, um, Brinkman Brinkman has scored 900 and He's, Heath and, and, oh, no one has scored 900. points. No one has scored 900 points. No, no. Luke has uh, scored just a thousand. sack it. Luke has scored a thousand. Luke and eighty deuce one p. Ethan, Ethan, all the way. I can never remember yeah. the name. I don't know why. Yep. Um, Luke is the highest scoring team in the league. He is the um, triple crown watch right now. The one Again. seed, the one seed, and the most points scored. Um, Lamar Jackson doing a nice, uh, nice thing for him. Forty. 34 points this week. Yeah. I think man. he had 34 the week before, too. Uh, yeah, no, he is 18 and then 33 the week before that. He's 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 been balling. No doubt. About uh, I wonder it. what odds I can get on my Lamar Jackson uh, MVP. And he's definitely bet. probably the favorite. It's probably a lot. I mean, he's like plus two, hmm, plus like 275. It's probably odds on favorite for sure. I don't know if I remember my damn DraftKings. It's been that long, Apparently so. I do. It's been that long, huh? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it is. Football has not been a priority. I mean, it's a, always a priority, but I've been traveling for work and it's, it's yeah, it's been busy. I've been, I've hardly had enough time to get things done. Um, so, I'm happy where I'm at, but um, I am excited. Cooper Cup back this week. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I am. But now there's rumors that he's going to get traded, so hopefully he doesn't be in a, a late scratch inactive. <laughs> Lamar to, Jackson is plus 225 for a regular like, season MVP. I got it at plus 1,800. Nice. Um, I, I said 275. That's pretty good. Good guess. Yeah, I luckily remember my password. Yeah, I got it at plus eighteen hundred for the season. I bet a quarter, a on quarter, it. and I think it pays uh, like five dollars. Cash out now for seventy five cents. They wouldn't let me cash out. If they'd let me <laughs> cash out, I probably would. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, um, Denver Broncos uh, mop the floor with the New Orleans Saints. Obviously, they don't have Derek Carr. They are missing a lot of offensive weapons in this one. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Rashid Shahid. Did he get injured in practice or was it the game before? Game before, torn meniscus out for the season. He's done. Yep. Uh, so that's cool. And then uh, Chris Olave was out with a concussion. And Taysom Hill was out with a rib injury. Obviously, Derek Carr. It was all they had was Alvin Kamara. And even that was. Who did, did Lipu. Yeah. I mean, they just game plan for him. Um, Cedric Wilson Jr. Uh, Six catches for 57 yards and a touchdown. Uh, it's we're just back to the era of the Saints where that helps nobody, you know. Remember when you used to say that all the time? They would always throw to random players that, that helps they'd no score. One. And uh, should we have known the Saints weren't for real? Because have they gone 0 and 5 since their 2 0 start? They have. I mean, and granted, Derek Carr has got hurt, he's missed the last couple games. Um, yeah, it's just crazy because um, they were so dominant and the offense looked revolutionary for mm-hmm. them. 
And yeah. um, we were we were just like, man, they're legit. Uh, and then he got hurt. And it was not even that big of a story at the time when he got hurt. And now he's just still been out. Yeah. And then the news today, uh, uh, Kamara does sign a two-year extension with the Saints um, this afternoon. So he'll be locked in for the next probably, you know, one plus one, you know, probably next year and then avoidable year. But, yeah, um, he's back um, because they have nobody behind him. Um, sorry, Jamal Williams, um, Kendra Miller. Wash, best the best running back on that team besides Kamara is Taysom Hill. Uh, Javante Williams gets in the end zone two times. He was very efficient. Two um, times, very very peculiar. Cortland Sutton did not even receive a target. Yeah, that was really weird. When I saw that, I was like, that doesn't I, make any sense. No, I started him, so oh, that kind of makes sense. Most people did. He it was like back to back to back weeks of production just like ramping up i was like okay cool he's got a relationship with bo nix and then nope nope um did i watch football if i guess if i have to ask myself the question that way then i probably didn't oh i did watch a lot of the detroit minnesota game but i was on the way back from salt lake city so it was, i was mostly just listening to it what'd you do in salt lake i went to a ray all salt lake game Final game of the regular season. Uh, it was epic. Um, it was a good time. Had a lot of fun. Nice. I really love going to those games, man. Uh, it is so fun. Nice. And they're not expensive. It's yeah, like going to a Rockies game, only the team is good. You know what I mean? Like the atmosphere is cool. Ouch. It's not a pain in the butt to like get around. Mm-hmm. Um, it's all like school anyway. Yeah, so I really like Salt Lake. I think it's a far superior city to Denver. Um, that's just my hot take. I don't even think it's that hot. It's cleaner. It's easier to get around. Yeah, I, don't I know. agree. Sorry, I'm making waiver bids right now, too. <laughs> oh, it's all right. I normally forget waiver bids, as you can tell by my record. Um, <laughs> Seattle Seahawks. You didn't forget uh, last week. You spent $900 last week. I know. I paid attention. I was like, I want these three dudes. I don't care. Spend it all. <laughs> all right. Where was I? Uh, Seattle okay. Seahawks beat the Falcons. I sometimes forget that the Seattle Seahawks are an NFL franchise um, because they're just not that fantasy relevant for us. We don't really talk about them very much, and they're just well, going to be middle of the road. Ken Walker's been really good. Yeah, Ken Walker. Been good. Um, he's healthy D- this year. Yeah, DK had a nice day, but he's week to week. He Tweaked his niece, a grade one MCL sprain. A lot of receiver injuries this year. Not it's it's uh yeah, the running backs have stayed healthy, the receivers have gotten hurt, and the quarterback play's been terrible. Um running he needs some running backs, and it's a uh, it's been a struggle, which we've seen Sackett has moved heavily to try to get running backs and just move off receivers. Um it's running backs where it's at right now. Um it could flip, you know, the, the back half of the year, but um, those running backs are just lighting it up. Those top top ones, the top ones, not everybody. Yeah, <laughs> there's there's a there's a fine line. Bijan <laughs> Robinson, um, another one of those top running backs, has a nice day. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Kyle Pitts um, still can't get into the end zone, but he has a nice day as well as Drake London. Uh, you like to see it. All three of the dudes who are supposed to produce produce. Um, Kirk Cousins' day is hampered by the two picks that takes away the four points from his touchdown pass, and he really didn't have that many yards. Um, I didn't watch this game, so I, I can't really speak on it. Yeah, it's been tough. I have that's unfortunate. I haven't watched a lot the last two weeks with travel and being being gone, and then spending time with the family. Um, so I've watched a little bit, um, more of the primetime games, um, just a little bit on Sunday ticket, but. Or not Sunday ticket, but red zone. Um, yeah, it's it's been throwing me off quite a bit. I don't feel as prepared as I usually do, um, which sometimes that, that's how it goes. Um, everyone's human; people have to make choices. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been tough not watching games. Um, Listen to a lot of podcasts, a lot of recaps, um, but I don't have a whole lot of insight. I just know from what I've heard um, during the games. 
Buffalo Bills 34, Tennessee Titans 10. The Tennessee Titans are um bad. Quietly one in five. Quietly, they should be uh extremely 0 and 6. All right. They should be extremely 0 and 6. Uh Mason Rudolph, that experiment does not work. Will Levis was out for one game. Yeah, one or two shoulder. Paul, we it. found Tony Pollard's floor, mm-hmm. uh, which is still not bad. Like you'd like to see a little bit more, but uh, for how productive he's been, this is now his floor. It just uh, makes we me also so found... sad about Tony Pollard because oh, he would have been so good last year. I, I, I still, oh man, the Cowboys. <laughs> uh, oh, the Cowboys. James Cook oh, yeah. scores a touchdown to save his day. Um, there's this really funny clip of Amari, um, Josh Allen checking the play to a different route tree, and Amari Cooper looking at Keon Coleman and going. What and Keon Coleman goes, and then Amari Cooper runs the route and scores a touchdown. <laughs> I know. I, I heard about that. I, I had to watch find the video, but yeah, that's that's awesome. It's so funny. Oh, uh, well, three receivers had good days for them. And one of them wasn't named Dalton Kincaid. Mm. Do you know the names? Are you looking? Uh no, I'm just looking at stuff. Um oh sorry, Keon that... Coleman, Amari Cooper, and Khalil Shakir, Shakir. also all had at least flex worthy starts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Moving on. Deshaun Watson tears his AC, uh, sorry, Achilles. Mm-hmm. The Browns fall to one and six. Uh, Bengals 21, Browns 14. Yeah. Um, that experiment's kind of over. Uh, I, I really think that he's probably done in the league. So, uh, it, that's just tough to. It is what it is. Um, uh, we just got the the word. Famous Jameis starting this week, baby, coming to his <laughs> coming to a city near you, Jameis Winston. But it was really weird because they actually made Jameis Winston the inactive quarterback, um, last week, and Dorian Thompson Robinson was listed ahead of him. Uh, Jameis did get in the game because he was the emergency third quarterback and DTR got hurt too. So um, oh. he ended up found his way into the game and had played one drive, scored one touchdown. So he is um, in the driver's seat. So I love, I, I love me some Jameis Winston. So yeah. I will be uh, <clears throat> looking at that. I wonder who he targeted on his five completions. That's the interesting thing to look at. Uh, Cedric Tillman cut the touchdown. Yeah, no, and Joku did. I thought Cedric Tillman caught the touchdown. Cedric Till Tillman twelve targets, eight catches, eighty one yards, and Joku ten catches, seventy six yards, and a touchdown. Is that the only touchdown. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, Elijah Moore seven yeah, targets, so six receptions for forty one yards, which is his maximum. Yeah, Colts down. The Dolphins, who start Tyler Huntley. Tim Boyle also gets in this game. Uh, Devon A. Chain, A. Shan, however you want to say it, he had a lot of rushing yards on very little targets or very little touches, which he always does. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. It was just a little bit to be desired. Um, Yeah. Um, Excuse me. Expect a little bit more from the Dolphins in the coming weeks. Tua is practicing this week. They do expect to get him back this week. Um, he has been out the minimum of four games, so they do expect him to be back. So well, that's good for the Dolphins' offense. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, because the Dolphins' weapons are like not startable without Tua. They're so bad. Uh, uh, just to give you a sneak peek of those two, um, Jalen Waddle. So Jalen Waddle, his first game. He had 16.2. Since then, 8, 5, 6, 6, 7, 6, 8, 6, 2, 10. That's pretty bad. And then Tyree Kill has been almost, if not worse. Week 1, 26. Mm-hmm. And 6, 6, 7, 8, 2, 12, 9, 2, 3. It's been pretty bad. Like yep. caught, Terry Hill caught one. They caught one pass. Like, we also have learned that John, uh, the Colts are not the same without Jonathan Taylor. 
No, and Anthony Richardson's looked really bad. God, yeah, I hate to which say is weird. Me, give me Joe Flacco, man. He's <laughs> like this day and age of quarterback right now. Like <laughs> no one can throw the ball, and Joe Flacco is slinging it for for two weeks. Um, but obviously that's not the case there. It's it's Anthony Richardson, but it you just can't play any Colts <clears throat> receivers. It's he's he's so bad right now. Like. Yes, you could probably start. I would say Jonathan Taylor's probably the only guy you can start when he comes back. And Anthony Richardson's been really bad. And I know you could just throw him out there and you hope to get two rushing touchdowns and a, a nice quarterback performance. But he's just like his floor's like two points, man. It's it's bad. Like he, um, he's been really bad. I'm trying to find it. Brandon McManus gets signed off the street and wins it for the Green Bay Packers. I did have a friend at the game, so that's cool. Uh, he was very excited about the way things ended up. Jordan, They survived two Jordan Love interceptions, and Devontae Wicks and Tucker Craft find the end zone. Romeo Dobbs has the big day. Uh, that's a four-headed monster at receiver for the Packers, and it's kind of hard to figure out. If all four are healthy or at least questionable, good luck figuring out which one is going to get targeted. Yeah, they, they've had the, kind of the squeaky wheel narrative. Um, Jaden Reed started out really hot, and then Romeo Dobbs was complaining. He started getting the ball, and Wicks has been complaining. He's been getting the ball. Um, yeah, stuff. So, by the way, in that game, this is the stat that's been going around all week. Josh Jacobs caught his first career receiving touchdown this week. I believe that I've owned yeah. Josh Jacobs many times. <laughs> First career receiving touchdown. Um, good for him. Um, but yeah, it's uh, good, good for Good for him. Joe Mixon, big day. Oh, stud. Oh, man. He's been the three games he's played. He's averaged like 25 points a game. Uh, the Jaguars stay a whole week in London. Doug yeah. Peterson, you know, gets and has some tea. Uh, he goes and sees Big Ben. He goes and sees the Parliament. Uh, he t- takes the train to James Park Station. And, uh, you know, they figure it out. Yeah, they should have just left him over there. Hank Bigsby. Oh, my God. Did you see how small their box score is? It's, it's so bad. Oh, you're not looking at it, but it's. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, Tank Bigsby, Dearness Johnson, Brian Thomas, Evan Ingram, Christian Kirk, Gabe Davis. That is their entire offense. Yeah, Evan, yeah, it's. They and, just said we're going to hand the ball off. It, we're going to hand it to Tank Bigsby, and that's that's. Uh, the Trevor, game. you're not doing anything. No, we're just going right. to turn around and hand the ball. Yeah. Brian Thomas, uh, oh, he's legit. Stud. Yeah, like uh, right now, declined like, an offer for a trade literally that morning. Yeah, it's really weird. Like you, you go back and look at those top four first round rookie receivers. Um, granted, they all play in different situations. You know, neighbors and Harrison and Thomas and Adunze. Granted, Adunze and Harris or Adunze. Adunze is competing for targets with Keenan Allen and DJ Moore, but Brian Thomas has jumped Marvin Harrison. Man, like. At least, at least, like in regular redraft, like obviously people are going to rank Harrison higher than Thomas and Dynasty, but oh man, Brian Thomas has looked really good, which is why I'm so sad that I have Christian Kirk <laughs> because, and there obviously there's rumors that Christian Kirk can get dealt, could be dealt at the deadline, um, or like a cap hit in the off season, a cap uh, casualty. Yeah, I mean because. When they're on the field, they're re- they're looking at Evan Ingram. They're looking at um, Brian Thomas. Um, Kirk is just getting getting kind of pushed out. So would not would not surprise me um, to see him get moved. A lot of receivers could be moved. Um, I mean, and granted, it's all rumors. The NFL doesn't do much trading, so I don't expect there to be too much. Obviously, we got the Devonte Adams, um, Aaron Rodgers crybaby story to get someone there. Um, but it's very rare in the NFL to trade a decent piece 
But there's rumors like Christian Kirk, Cooper Cup, Deontay Johnson, like the people that need wide receivers because people have lost some. Um, like there's like the Buccaneers lost Chris Godwin and Mike Evans for multiple weeks. So yeah, who knows? Detroit marches down the field, kicks a field goal for the win from a guy named Jake Bates. Uh I think there were two rookie kickers in this game. And yeah. they saw the ball a lot. Yeah. And Will, Will they Riker were just and killing Bates. it. Will, yeah, Will, uh, Will Bates was from the USFL or something like that. Yeah. They were talking about it on the broadcast. I don't 100% remember, but... Bates is a stud. Like, yeah, he's... dude. Just nailed it every time. Yeah, those USFL studs. Brandon Aubrey, those uh, USFL kickers. Yeah. Jameer Gibbs looked like a monster. Uh, it is helped by the fact that Dave Montgomery fumbled in a critical moment, which made them... Uh, lean on Jameer Gibbs, which is cool because that we don't see that very often. Yeah, I, I think Monty did leave with an injury at some point too. Briefly. Yeah. And I, then he, he fumbled the next time he came in. Yes, he did. Uh, uh Jared Goff Montgomery played 39% of the snaps. Yeah. So that's but, quite a lot still. Yeah, he hasn't played more than 51% though. Um Jared Goff did not have any incompletion until the second half. <laughs> Yeah, he's had like one incompletion in the past month. He went twenty-two for twenty-two to start the game. Like, let me read you Goff's stat lines. Um, uh, Aaron Jones finds the end zone. He was very productive. Justin Jefferson is an animal. Uh, they targeted Jordan Addison quite a lot. Uh, I guess only four times, but um, he could have had a much more productive day. Um, Amon Ra has a nice day as well. Jared Goff's last four games, 18 of 23, 18 of 18, 18 of 25, and 22 out of 25. He had a perfect against Seattle. He, had, he went 18 of 18. For, he completed 18 passes for 292 yards, two touchdowns, and I believe he caught a pass for a touchdown that game. Yeah. Sometimes him and Sam Darnold, sometimes it just takes a while for a quarterback to get into their prime. Yeah. Darnold had a good game too, only five incompletions, one pick. Yeah, I've heard I've heard a lot of um talk that I mean the Vikings have been so good with Sam Darnold. They may sign Sam Darnold to a long term extension, like two like a two year extension, and <laughs> just sit McCarthy still for a couple of years. It- uh, we'll see how the rest of the season goes, but yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, things could change quickly, but like he could turn back into a pumpkin. It just may take for a, a while. But if he leads into the playoffs, plays well, like he's – Sam Donald's like 27 years old. Like he's not old. Yeah, because he came out at 21, I think. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Darnold is – he's 27 years old. Like – if he is playing this well, like w- whether he is in Minnesota or not, he's earned himself a very nice contract if he continues this play. <clears throat> um, so good for Sam, Sammy D. Ready? Giants, Eagles. Saquon. <laughs> Saquon. Saquon revenge it's okay. game. It's okay, little guy. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Drew Lock uh, Daniel sure Jones gets yeah. Daniel Daniel Jones gets benched in uh, for the final drive. Uh, Tyrone Tracy is definitely the better back, uh, but that offense is bad. Yeah. All of a sudden, Wandell Robinson, who I think was the Bolitnikov winner before he came out, right? Mm. Him and Malik Neighbors have been good together. Oh. Neighbors is neighbors is fun to watch. He's really good too. I, would I haven't like to actually see seen any of it. Oh, okay. I haven't seen him play yet because oh, I'm wow. not watching the Giants, but yeah, he's he's really good. I, I, I would I would like to see I don't like I don't think I'd want to see Drew Locke play, but I'd like to see Drew Locke get him the ball. But Daniel Jones is getting him the ball too, so like neighbors has been really good. <clears throat> 
Garrett Wilson survives the Devontae Adams, Aaron Rodgers, Ayahuasca bro down. Uh, he's actually able to get some production, but the Jets get spanked by the Russell Wilson led Steelers. Uh, put that on your bingo card. George Pickens, uh, he wrote a bunch of my bullshit. team, and that was a mistake. Uh, Russ loves him. Najee Harris, all of a sudden, does not look like he's eating too many cheeseburgers anymore. Yeah, man. Don't get me started on the Steelers, man. I, I don't get the whole situation. I mean, maybe I'm just a fantasy guy, but I don't know. That's I I thought Fields played well, well enough, um, for, well enough to not get pulled. Like, cause w- w- what what happens if Russ came out? I mean, and obviously he didn't come out and look off awful, but what if, I mean, if he comes out and it's awful, what do you do? Um, I don't know. It's just, um. That win gave Russ at least another three to four, three weeks, three to four weeks. But I think they're also kind of padding their back because of the the draft pick compensation, because it goes to like a whatever the compensation was, a six to a five or a five to a four, um, depending on playing time. So I don't know if they're milking it, but mm. um, I did see a meme that uh Devontae Adams got traded and lost to the Steelers twice in two weeks. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. I meant to mention that earlier in the show. Yeah, it's so I saw, funny. I saw, I mean, I said, might twice well in a week. Twice in a week, yeah. And then someone said, might as well trade into the Giants so we can lose again to the Steelers. Because <laughs> they lost on Monday night, I believe. Yeah, Sunday, Mon- or Monday, Sunday. Monday, Sunday, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he didn't, yeah, he didn't, obviously didn't play against the Steelers in the first one because that hamstring was really hurt and magically uh, healed as soon as he touched down in uh, um, New Jersey. Speaking of small box scores, the Raiders lose to the Los Angeles Rams as neither team is really that relevant this year. No, the the Rams are hoping to get healthy. Obviously, Puka, um, not Puka, um, Cooper Cup is back at practice. He's been practicing for a week or two, um, but full practice this week. Ready to go. They just opened Pukunakua's practice window to return from IR. So they're hoping to get their two stud receivers back. Um, but yeah, the the Raiders, Aiden O'Connell, broken thumb, he's out. So it's back to Minchu Mania. And I, I don't know what the Raiders do. Do that. they just roll out Gardner Minchu the rest of the year? Or do they trade for um a backup quarterback? Or I know they signed Desmond Ritter off the practice squad of someone. But, I mean, the Raiders in, are in, in play for number one pick. Um, but there's there's no prize this year for quarterbacks in the NFL draft. So, I don't know. At least currently. Unless you think Shadir Sanders is a good quarterback. I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah, the Chiefs are the last undefeated team in the NFL. Whoop de doo! What a surprise! They, yeah, they beat the 49ers 28-18. The 49ers do not look that good this year. Uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of lots of lots of injuries. Kyle Shanahan's never beaten uh, Andy Reid. <laughs> I like he, that stat. He can't beat him. He's lost to him in multiple Super Bowls, and <laughs> he just can't beat him. That's that's some of a bitch. He just can't do it. And and the Chiefs are winning just like. He scored four rushing touchdowns as, as good as their wide receiver core was at the beginning of the year, their receiving core is almost as, as atrocious as it was last year because of all the injuries, like um, no Rashi rise, um, no Hollywood Brown, Xavier worthy has been farting around. I don't know. Like this, this has been bad. I mean, you got freaking cream hunt who joined the team two and a half weeks ago running wild. Carolina Panthers lose spectacularly to the Commanders. However, the Commanders do lose Jaden Daniels. Yeah, it's, it says he's week to week, but um, there's reports that he's he's going to play this week. This is the big the big game upcoming week. We got Bears, uh, Washington, Caleb, and Daniels. Oh yeah, they've been talking so, trash to each other for weeks. Yeah. 
So hopefully uh, we get to see him out there um, for that game. Bryce Young comes back in for two throws? Yeah, that's that's that. I, I don't know why, but... Chuba Hubbard is in the top 10 for rushing yards this season. Did you know that? Yes, he's been very good. Very good. The Texas product, Jatavion Sanders, two back-to-back good weeks. Yeah, but that's all relative. He's a tight end. Yep. I I played Kate Otten this week and got eight for 100, so I was, I was so happy <laughs> on a bye week. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, the... Ravens and the Bucks play a really, really fun game. Uh, Lamar Jackson, did you guys know he's a quarterback? That's a pretty good running back. Uh, uh, um, the the tough thing here is, obviously, Mike Evans catches a touchdown, and then a couple plays later, he pulls up on a hamstring. It looks like he's going to be out four weeks at a minimum. Um, but the worst part is he going to get a thousand yards because that's that's really important. He only has three hundred thirty-five yards. I don't think so. So that puts him out oh, to God. about week eleven. So that would give him week 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. He would need to average over hundred yards a game. Uh, he is only averaging forty-seven yards a game right now, which is yeah. his worst. Well, yeah, by a lot. And then the worst part is, in but he garbage, has six touchdowns. Yeah, he has, he just caught his hundred hundredth uh, career touchdown. Um, That's so cool. But the worst part is the garbage time trying to score, trying to make it close. Chris Godwin dislocated ankle. He's done. Ooh, ouch. Yep, like forty five seconds left in the game. Um, and it was it was kind of cool. Like him him he had an air cast on on the cart. He's he doesn't have the towel over his head. He's got a pretty pretty good attitude. Like you can read his lips. He's like talking to the trainers, like, man, what a shame. What a shame. That's all it is. What a what a shame. Like not like going crazy or but yeah, but that's why I, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, you could see uh because th- they're in playoff contention. I could see them trading for a Christian Kirk, something like that. <clears throat> um that would actually be a pretty good fit. Yeah. Kirk. Yeah. I'd love it. Uh, Rashad White picks up the slack uh, receiving because he can't do anything on the ground, <laughs> he is which is confirmed. Uh, Derrick Henry scores another touchdown. He's a monster. He he has 1,000. No, he, he has 873 yards in seven games. Dude's but on like, the ground. He had like 25 yards at halftime and then ripped off like a 70 yard run in the third quarter. I saw this video of him running hills. Yeah. And it looked like he was running on flat ground. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Dude's a monster. Uh Zay Flowers, it looks like the Bucks had one plan, and that was to take away Zay Flowers, and it didn't matter. Yeah. Um, who I guess you're probably looking at. Obviously, Derrick Henry leads the league in rushing. Who's second? Are you are you looking at it? I'm not looking at it, but I did look. I did see a stat on Instagram the other day. Is it? Is somebody random? Uh, Jordan Mason. It is Jordan Mason. Six sixty seven. <clears throat> and number three. This is not Jonathan Taylor, is it? No, he's Jonathan Taylor's only played like three games. Okay. Uh, Lamar Jackson. I don't know. I, I I guess I'm just looking at running backs. I, I did not look at. Let me uh, let me uh, refilter here. Okay. No, it is not. Lamar Jackson is two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. He's eleventh in the league in rushing. <laughs> Four hundred fifty-five yards. He has more He's gonna rushing, hit a thousand. He has more rushing yards than Aaron Jones, Alvin Kamara, Kyron Williams. He's Joe gonna Mixon. hit a thousand. Joe Mixon's got four hundred yards in three games. There is uh it's Sa- it's Saquon Barkley, by the way. Yeah, I thought it was Barkley, I, I Jacobs, could... Hubbard. 
Yeah, Chuba Hubbard, who's going to lose his job soon. Um, I don't know how the Cardinals beat the Chargers 17-15. That is such a weird score. That might yeah, be a score of Gami. It could be. I haven't checked that Twitter account in a while, but there is a score of Gami Twitter account for NFL scores. Will Disley. Yeah. Will Disley. A for 81. Uh, is Quentin Johnson hurt again? Uh, yes, he missed this week. Speaking All of right. uh, tight ends, um, can you name the number one tight end? There's actually a tie. Same points. Brock Bowers. And? Oh, it's a tie? There's a tie. Which is just, like, terrible. Like, that's not many points for the number one tight end. Six. Um, let's see. I don't know. How many weeks have they played? Seven. Seven. So the number one tight ends are averaging 14 and a half points. Which is good. It's Brock Bowers and George Kittle. Mm. Brock Bowers has 47 catches for 477 yards and a touchdown. And Kittle has uh, 34 catches. So he's got 13 less catches, 100 less receiving yards, but he's got five touchdowns. I famously passed on Brock Bowers um, to draft Roma Dunza. I have Roma Dunza. Dynasty. Oh, in Dynasty. I also tra- I traded Brock- away that pick. I traded away Brock Bowers for Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> Ew. But that's a qu- quarterback premium. That's different. Like, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, that is, uh, that is all the games. Yeah, th- this is how big the drop-off is. So Bowers and Kittle have 102 points. So 14 points... A game the tight end three is 73 points 30 points difference so a whole three to four points per game different like bowers one kittle one commit three tucker craft four mcbride five hunter henry kyle pitts isaiah likely has who hasn't done anything since week one is it oh, that's rough man yeah I dropped so much fab on Isaiah Likely in my work league. Oh, I I spent, week one. I did four hundred plus, and I dropped him like three weeks later. I was like, I can't yeah. do this. I can't carry. <laughs> I can't carry two tight ends. I can't do it. The matchups that mattered. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I yeah, go for it. Big winner. Got my first win, <laughs> uh, thanks to some people who poured, scored some points. It was not a spectacular performance by any means from anyone. Uh, except for you know the Cincinnati defense that I picked up at seven o'clock in the morning, nice. so that was cool. Uh, Rashad when White, I I finally sit him, and he decides to score two touchdowns. So we're still working on that. Uh, I need Rashad to call me, you know, when he's he's thinking about scoring. I'm thinking I'm going to start him next week because there's no Mike Evans, there's no Chris Godwin, or maybe it's a Sean Tucker day, or maybe I start him both. Who's to say? Who's to say? But yeah, you Go knock. Uh, yeah, you knock uh, Heath down to one and six. Also, yeah, it's a it's a real struggle down there at the bottom. Tell you what, there's three of you down there. You, Heath, and Fuller. Um, speaking of Fuller, Still room to climb back up. Speaking of Fuller, he loses um, late, um, one hundred one to ninety four um, to Gage. Um, Gage does not get a complete game out of Jaden Daniels. He loses Chris Godwin. Um, just a kind of mediocre day across the board. Really a lot, a lot of low scores this week. Um, but uh, Gage gets him to six and one. Um, nice stays from Aaron Jones, Kyron Williams. Um, you know, Dalton, you and I had more receiving yards than Devontae Smith, negative two. Uh, San he had the catch, though. He had a catch for negative two. I didn't even need a catch. I got zero. Um, and the the thing that got Gage to the top, he played freaking Rashad Bateman, and he scored twenty two points. That's ballsy. Yeah, but his bench, he had no one else. Like Jeremy McNichols, oh. Jonathan Taylor's out, Jerome Ford's out. He could have he benched Keon Coleman. Um, that would have been the only difference. If he plays Keon Coleman, he loses. 
So, wow. Nah, no, he still might have won. It's like a, uh, it would have been close, but either way, good for Gage. Um, I will take mine. I fall to Dark Horse. Dark Horse gets to three and four, drops me to five and two. Very mediocre day across the board. Jordan Mason, bad game. Trey Sermon, awful. Christian Kirk, one catch. Drake London, fantastic. I got 18 from K. Dotton, which is funny. Um, I uh, played Ty Chandler, you know, he had four yards. Great. Um, Deontay Johnson, one catch. Great. Um, but my bench was uh, absolutely atrocious, too. Bunch of bye weeks. I actually outscored you for once. What'd you score? 118. <laughs> yeah, I got 110. Yeah, it was, but yeah. So I had, yeah, Austin, Mc, Austin McCaffrey still. Um, IR, Dowdle by, Adunze by, Cooper Cup out, Ferguson out. So I was kind of playing with a stacked deck against me, but happy I put up, you know, a decent, gave Dark Horse, you know, a little run, but he had Baker Mayfield, Derrick Henry on Monday night. <clears> so it was not going to. Um, it was closer than I thought it was going to be, 19 points. Ethan moves to 4-3, and three, taking out Blaster, 165-137. to 137. Ethan's got uh, some nice – I think he's got two or three skins already. Does he really? Uh, yeah. Blaster's running backs are pretty good. Bijan and Tank. He drafts Ooh. a tank, dude. That's impressive. Um Yep. Kaimi Fairborn with the 12 points. He also has Bucky Irving. Uh, he's going to get Olave back eventually. He's got DeAndre Swift. David Njoku. He's got Gus Edwards for some reason. He's got a good team. He's going to make some, he's going to make some noise. Um, as yep. Blaster does, um, does look my, does lose Mike Evans. Um, but yeah, Ethan's team, he's got a good looking team. And he's acquired a couple of pieces. Like he's acquired Kareem Hunt. He's acquired Trey McBride. He got Almond Ross St. Brown from you. Um yeah, like uh he's made some good moves and good for him. Yeah. First first you know, time in the league and traded good. some uh traded a couple injured players for Amon Ross St. Brown, and that's that's a pretty good winning strategy. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously. <sighs> All right. Uh Gage steals one against Fuller. We already did that uh, we one. We already talked about this. All right. Uh you can do seconds. All right. Uh Sackett Sackett steals one. Squeaks by. It's five and two. Um he just traded his entire team. Um he's gonna have to keep doing that because he loses uh, Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk. He had to play two tight ends that week this week. That's how bad his team was this week. <laughs> Yikes. But he had a lot of people on by and injured. Uh what is one hit wonders doing? Mr. He has three empty bench spots. No, he doesn't. Uh Sackett uh, it shows all the players that Sackett's drop had on his bench. Oh so he's dropped Keishan Butte, he's dropped Drake May and Emmanuel Wilson. Okay. It does, it shows it better on the on the app on those ones. All right. Instead of the computer, yeah. So if, yeah, if you go to mine, it's the same way. Yeah, did we already so. talk about Luke winning on a field goal? Uh, off off air we did. Um, but yeah, Luke uh, squeaks one out by the skin of his chin chin chin. He actually um with that last fumble loss by Lamar Jackson, it actually put him below by about half a point. Um, but he with um. The second one, thirty six without the fumble. Holy shit! Yeah, and but oh, uh, he gets the 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 la- the game winning field goal for the Chargers, or no? It was a no. The Cardinals won, but um, it was a lead to give the the Chargers the lead at seven at fifteen fourteen, and that got him the win. It was. <laughs> Um, Luke, yeah, he texted me this morning. He's like, I can't believe I pulled that out. Um, but yeah, good for him. Luke climbs to six and one, number one seed, highest points. Not a surprise there. Luke's always gunning. He's got the, 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 I mean, 
I don't know, Luke, uh, Dalton, you and Luke have the complete different uh, baby vibes. Uh, Luke is six and one. His baby's doing like a week and you're one and six and you got a while to go. <laughs> um, as Blaster taught us, uh, it you don't get the luck until after the baby's born. It's true. It's Blaster true. did have baby luck. Yeah, he did. He after did have his baby kid luck. was born. Um, as, let's as do a quick preview. Yeah. So but I gotta I wait I, till I the luck, kid is so. born. Um, we I'm excited to plug the kid's name in the Hall of Records when we announce it. Yes, you should just put it in there, uh, like as soon as uh, she's born, and just like Easter egg. Yeah, yeah like who, who's who's looking at the Hall of Records? Um, um yeah. I, I have a chance. Matchups. Yeah, I have a chance to move to two and six. I play Blaster, who has been struggling. Um, the, the projection, the early projection, uh, could not be any closer. Yeah, but by it won't, weeks it won't be that. It yeah. won't end up being that. I, I've already filled in my roster for next week. I will say that the the way you set up your roster on for the next week is not as convenient as it was on the NFL app. Because it doesn't pop up as early, but oh, you just toggle that's my over. only complaint. Yeah, you just, you just toggle. toggle over, but that's you know that's one more thing. Yeah, you got to do. Or just wait till Tuesday. Luke, uh, takes on Ethan. Uh, that's, that's gonna a be pretty a good, good matchup because they have good teams. Two good teams. Uh, Sackett looks to rebuild his team for one more week against Fuller. He will have CD Lamb back, so that's good for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and you take it from there. Yeah, um, I get Gage. Um, I kind of get a uh, Gage who's kind of limping right now. Um, he's lost uh, Jaden Daniels, uh, Jerome Ford's hurt, Godwin's hurt. Um, one thing we didn't talk about: uh, Jameson Williams suspended two games again um, for PEDs. Oh, first time it's gambling. Yeah. So he's out. So. Gage needs a little help. He needs Jonathan Taylor to come back, Jerome Ford to come back. He needs some, some help. Obviously, he'll make some moves with uh, with Chris Godwin being done for the year and everything like that. Um, let's see. Uh, Sackett plays Fuller. Did you do that one? Yes. Yep. And then Heath and Drew, um, early projections within five points. Um, They're all close games. Yeah, and then we got Dar- uh ooh, and then we got we got the Brink Brink Bowl this week. Brink we got Bowl 2024. We have, yep, Stuart and Garrett. Um it looks like um Garrett has some injury question marks this week. Hopefully he's getting two a back. Uh but Bayfield's played really good. But yeah, we got um, a quick standings update. In the Jamal Charles division, we have the Goodell Boys Clubs sitting on top at five and two. Then we have Ethan sitting at four and three. And then we have the 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 people that we have a massive lead on. We have Fuller and Macaulay Culkin at one and six. So we got a nice little cushion. Um oh, for the, for I like the how div- there's a little turd emoji next to how many uh <laughs> points I've received. Yeah. Um and then the Arian Foster division, um, a little more tight, uh, pretty pretty close. Uh, we have Luke six and one, uh, Sackett five and two, Dark Horse three and four, and Heath at one and six. Not and as then, tight as the Gurley division. And then the Gurley division is a lot tighter. Um, we have Gage at six and one, uh, Stewart at four and three, Drew at three and four, and Blaster at three and four. Which I believe I'd have to go see which three and four team is currently sitting out of the I don't playoffs. Know. I couldn't get it to it work is, on my computer because I was split. It is Blaster. Blaster is the lowest out of all of those. Um, which would be crazy if one team gets four teams in, which I highly doubt. Um, that would be really hard. It's not sitting that way right now. It's not sitting that way right now because you're also going to have the last three weeks. You're going to have to go back inside your division too. So yeah, that's true. So it's going to be. I could see a you know a division getting. I, I could see them getting three teams in. Um, the way that I mean they have three teams in right now. Three teams. 
Uh, Arian Foster has. Oh, three that's teams. how the math is right now. Two three, divisions have three two, teams. Yep, three through two. Um, you and and then so how it works is obviously the the three division winners are one two three. So um, based on points, yeah, based on points. So I'm sitting at so Luke's at one, Gage is at two, I'm at three, currently. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, oh man, it's been it's been a while since we've. I guess it's been two weeks since we did the podcast when I was in Atlanta. Um, yep. But it's it's been a fairly inconsistent season. Um, we, let's, not, uh, we don't have many bets going right now. But I was just going to say, let's. Um, I've just got the week schedule for next week pulled up. You just want to rip uh, them all? Let's just rip them all. Uh, we'll go like... Money line or spread? Like, um, I say whatever bet you want to make within those games is fair game. Okay. But so if you so, want to do a prop, you can do a prop. Okay. Uh, let me pull out my uh, sports book then. Um, I haven't been on it so long. Uh, I got to pull something else up because I totally forgot. Uh, oh, I actually forgot who else was on this roster that I wanted to talk about when I came up with this idea. So now I got to find them. All right. What do you... Do you want me to start or do you want to start? you want to flip um, a coin? Uh, you can start. All right. Just tell the me what first game, game is go down Thursday list. night, Vikings-Rams in Inglewood. It's Cooper Cup's first game back, no? Correct. Will Cooper Cup have more receiving yards... Then Tyler Johnson and Tutu Atwell combined. Yes. I will say no. I will take Tyler Johnson and Tutu Atwell. Tyler Johnson. Okay. That's fine. Okay, go. Um, Tennessee and Detroit. I am going to do some. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It's Detroit's minus 11. 11 point <laughs> favorites. That's 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 wild. Um let's go. Man, I did not navigate DraftKings very well. Um I am gonna go. How about I go over on the game total of 46. All right. I guess give me the under then. Because we're just going opposite still. Yeah, we're that's not, a good we're bet. Not, we're not picking our... We're not like each going our own. No. Yeah. Um, Eagles, Bengals. Are you going in order? I'm just going 11 o'clock slate. I figure okay. we just finish the 11 o'clock slate and then move it down. Okay, that's fine. More, more rushing yards. Jalen Hurts. Or Zach Moss. Oof. I'm going Jalen Hurts. All right, give me Zach Moss. I don't believe in that at all, but I think it's fun. All right. Packers and Jacksonville. Yep. Game props. <laughs> yeah, I need team props. I have a hard time doing this. All right. Um, we'll go. Oh, man, I, four and a half. I'll just take the Packers uh, minus four and a half. All right, give me the Jacks. Plus four and a half. I'm having a hard time navigating the app. It's all right. Ravens, I'm coming up with these off the top of my fucking head. Oh, Ravens. I thought they were like parlays in the. App. No, I'm just bringing oh. them up. Okay. I'm just, just making them up. Okay. Uh, you, you do whatever you want. It's okay. your, you know what I mean? Okay. Ravens, 
Browns over under 44 and a half. Give me the under. Okay, I'll go over. Um, Colts and Texans. More. Hmm. It's a tough one. Um, you were supposed to pick first on that last one. Oh, that's fine. I would have huh. over anyway. All right. No. Uh, either way, I've lost track. That's fine. Um, Colts at Houston. Houston is a five and a half point favorite. Give me. Stefan Diggs more than seven catches. Okay. That's fair. under. So yeah. he's got to get eight. So we'll say seven and a half over, over seven. seven half. Yes. Over seven and a half. Okay. Yeah. yeah under. So I'll do that. Okay. Uh, so this is how we're going to do it the rest of the way because I think this is how we started and then we just messed it up. Yeah. Whoever makes the bet offers the other person the first pick. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that so, makes more sense because you're the yeah. one making the odds. So you offer the odds. Yeah. All right. Okay. Anyway, going that's fine. Going forward, more rushing yards. Uh, first game back for Tua, allegedly. More rushing yards, Cardinals or Dolphins? It's at home. Dolphins. The Dolphins are at home. Okay. I'll take the Cardinals. More rushing yards. Um, Jets and Patriots. Who has the first turnover of the game? Oh, that's a good one, huh? Jets. Jets. Okay, I'll take the Patriots first turnover. That's that a good such one. Such a great bet. Because <laughs> both, yeah, fumbling issues. Interceptions. Interceptions. Yeah. Okay. You're up. That's a fun one. Um. Falcons, Buccaneers, most incompletions from the quarterback position. Baker. So you're taking the Buccaneers. Yeah. So he'll have more. He'll have more incompletions. All right. Give me the Falcons. Um, the Bills are three point favorites on the road against Seattle. Give oh I don't, I don't know how to say give. Um, I will set the hmm. We'll just go classic one there. Bills are three point favorites. I want the Bills. That's both scale. I'll, I'll take Seattle at home. Um, Saints Chargers. Who will lead at halftime? Chargers. Okay, give me the Saints. The under and over is thirty nine and a half. That's so low. Yeah. Chiefs. 10 point favorites on the road against the Raiders. Under over. Two and a half passing touchdowns for Mahomes. Under. I'll, I'll go over. That's a good one, too, because they've been running the piss out of it. Uh, Panthers Broncos. Will there be a 100 yard receiver? No. Okay, give me a yes. The answer is no, but I'll take yes. 100 combined yards? <laughs> no, 100 no. yard receiver. Yeah. Okay. Um, Bears are two point favorites on the road. Um, this one's a little wonky because we don't know the Jaden Daniels yeah. um, situation. 
Um, let's go. More. Let's see. Yeah, there might be a good prop in here. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Will there be? a 10 point lead in the game no yes will the cowboys score a rushing touchdown against the 49ers yes no <laughs> this is coming from a guy that owns too much rego dowdle <laughs> uh, i got he he always looks like he's going to be all right and then he's not mm -hmm. All right. All right, you have the last one, Giants Steelers. Giants Steelers. More? Hmm. I had a couple ones I the under over is 36 and a half. Oh my god. Um I think that they think the Giants are going to score 3 points. Yeah. More? Which team has more running back receptions? So basically you're looking at Tracy's Giants. Giants. Okay, I'll go Steelers. Uh Tracy catches a lot of balls. Yeah. Did that, you say I, targets? No, uh receptions. Okay. Well, that's a little harder. But I'm still gonna say the Giants. Yeah, I mean like the actual can, receptions catch, is more difficult. Yeah, he can catch seven and and like Najee and Moore could catch like three apiece. Like, but I guess it's yeah. the entire running back backfield. So, but those are the main four. All right. Oh, we that was fun. 16. We're bets. probably going to have to do that again next week. We're going to have to. We got to catch up. Um, yeah, I will keep you posted. We're probably going to have to, I got to look at my schedule, but it might be Tuesday nights for a little bit. Okay. Um, Let's see. Uh, one more. Four week uh, baby appointment next Wednesday. Nice. And then it's two week baby appointments after that until the week before. Nice. Every two weeks then? A lot of time eating food in Casper. Uh, I can tell you normally if I get to pick, I pick um, the Wyoming Ale House. That's a good place. Pretty, pretty obsessed with their Ring of Fire burger. Uh, only yeah. it's a pretty miserable thing to eat before a two hour drive back home. Yeah. Uh, we've been there once. That was the one time Sarah and I kind of got run off the road in like a real bad storm. That's when we had like hit black ice, put the truck in the ditch and then a semi clipped our mirror like outside of Casper. And we're like, we're not driving the rest of the way. We're, <laughs> we're out here pulled over, found the, and this is when we had Elliot. We're like, find the nearest, like we pulled over, found, a restaurant and we're like we'll find an airbnb or a hotel we're not driving any further yeah shit's different yeah. when you got kids uh i am yeah. i am for sure realizing that my world of driving in the winter is going to completely change with the little so one it's a whole different ball game like we i mean yeah we hit a patch of black ice and like we have elliot in the car it's it's scary it's scary um she slept with the whole thing um until i opened the door and it's negative like 25 degrees outside um trying to help push the truck out um but everything's good that was obviously a couple of winters ago but yeah yeah it's different whole different ball game just with with kids and yeah we're gonna have to take her back for a two-week checkup in the middle of winter so that's great yeah that's that's I, that's kind of ridiculous um because and we we can talk about this off air if you want but um yeah, we'll do that. This okay. has been an episode uh, from Macaulay Calkin and Zachary Deshuganuga, Stuart, uh, perspective and actual father. Now I have to be able to find where the shutoff is on this one. Now. Perspective and actual father. Where the fuck is it? 
I am wearing glasses. He is not, but should be. Perspective, oh an actual father. Oh, they moved it to the top. It's been an episode. Sorry, guys. <laughs>